going to start on base first, and I'm just going to take the benefit for four professional, and I'm just going to apply this on my nose, you guys. If you guys normally watch my videos, you guys know how this works. I just apply it on my nose and like in the beginning of my cheek area, just because I have a lot of pores in there. Now that we got that on, I'm going to move straight on to concealer. Um, I'm using the Almay concealer. You guys know how this works as well. If you guys watch my everyday makeup tutorial for the winter time. With my Rue, not Rue, Real Techniques um, little beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that out. going to take the sore flow. I'm going to be taking the Sephora Tint Infusion in 35 bronze. And I'm just going to be applying some of this to my face. I'm taking that with my sponge again. I'm just going to be applying this on my face. Okay, so now that I have all of that blended in, I'm just going to lock it in my LA Colors Powder in Nude. Now, I'm just going to take this with my powder brush from Eco Tools, which is just this. And then I'm just going to dust this all over my face. To use my little one. So I'm going to take like the bottom of it, the more circular part. I'm going to put it in my powder and twist. If you can see, I got some of that. And I'm going to apply this underneath my eyes because I get very oily there and especially on my eyelids. So now that I have that done and while that's setting in, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. Now, I'm probably going to do this off camera because you guys probably seen me do my eyebrows so many times. But I'm just using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit in medium. If you guys have any like gel eyebrow like kits or mascara wands or eyebrow pencils that you want me to try out, leave it in the link below because I'm planning to get a lot of new makeup for new videos that are coming up, which I can't really tell you what it is. But yeah, so I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so those that's like what my eyebrows look like. Sorry if this one looks darker on camera. It's just because like I don't even know why it looks really dark. Wipe off all the excess powder with the same powder brush. And that Now for my face, my face have been like for I don't know, it's just been very repetitive. This is the way I like doing my face makeup lately. So I'm just gonna do this really quick because you guys probably seen this in my everyday makeup tutorial. But just in case you didn't, you guys should go check that out. It'll be in the link below or if I know how to work it, it'll be in like up here or up here. I can't remember. But you guys will see if I can get it. I'm going to be using the Lorac Pro. Now, let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Now, you guys know this is my favorite palette. This is the second one. And I just really want to go natural on the eyes and then just like a little bit darkness on the outer V. So, I'm going to be taking LT Brown, which is a light shade. Sorry, I'm going to be using that in my crease as a transition color. And then using the same brush, I'm going to be taking Mocha in this color right here. And I'm going to be using a little bit of cocoa and just for the outer V to add a little bit more depth. And then with a more fluffier brush, I'm just going to be taking this with LT Brown again, I'm just going to blend that out. For 
for the lid color, I'm going to be taking rose and with a little bit of chrome. So that's rose right here and that's chrome. So I'm just going to apply this on my lid. And I think I'm going to like just um, use the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in black. Um, doesn't really have a name for it, but I'm going to do a really thin wing on my lash line and then I'm going to tie it line. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to add a few coats of the Revlon Lash Potion. Um, this is a really good mascara. It's just in the shade Blackest Black. And I'm just going to be applying a few layers of a slight of highlight. I'm going to be using beige with my pinky and I'm just going to apply this in the inner corners. Now for the best part besides my crazy hair right now, which you guys will see the end product in a little bit, but I'm going to be taking the um, Wet n Wild lipstick in red velvet, which this one's a matte, one of their like long lasting formulas. And I'm going to be taking the Absolute New York Water Waterproof Gel Lip Liner in the shade Red Hot. So. Now that I have that on, I'm just going to apply an even layer of this lipstick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I just did my hair and I put on a new shirt. This shirt's from H&M. It's really cute. It's just nice and floral, but you guys could wear whatever you want with this look. Um, anything works with the red, just saying. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess. Bye.